Hey, what do we got here? A whole lot of silver. Let me help you out real quick. The old man is crazy about silver. He's gonna be like a kid on Christmas morning when he sees this. I've never seen you get up from your desk that quick. I always get up, son. Not generally very Move quick. Move hand. <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to sell my silver. I have over 3,000 ounces. Growing up, my dad always taught me to invest, and so I'm here today to cash in on that investment. If they want less than face value, well, we'll see what we can work out. I got some 90% silver dimes over here, some quarters. I got these bars, and this thing alone is almost 75 pounds. Oh, that's cool. Most people don't realize until 1964, all US dimes, quarters, half dollars, silver dollars were all made out of silver. And all paper money was was a promise to pay you real money. Right. I've been collecting silver, son, for the past 30 years. Silver and gold is a hedge against hyperinflation. All right, I just got to make sure, you know, it's all silver coin. OK. It's really important for me to scan all the edges on these to make sure there's no modern coins in here. When you look at an edge of a quarter or a dime today, you see copper and nickel. Pre-64, all silver, no copper. Um, they look right. It's the right color. It's uh, all 1964 before. Uh, do you mind if I go weigh them just to make sure they weigh the right amount? No problem. So you have 3,372 ounces of silver. You bought right at the bottom of the market. In the late 1990s, silver was down to $3 an ounce, but silver is the best conductor of electricity there is, period. Okay. Just about every cell phone, every computer, television, they all started needing silver. By, I think it was last year, half a billion ounces of silver was used just in industry. I hear that there's basically a shortage of silver nowadays. So what do you want to do with it? I want to sell it. Ricky, this one's going to be difficult to buy, and you know why. When you're talking this much money, there's too much temptation to put a bar of steel or something in the center. And when they make them this big, they don't make them in odd weights. So you're saying this might not be pure silver? What I'm saying is there might be a chunk inside that's not pure silver. Can we uh, test this thing? Um, yeah, drill a few holes in it, take the shavings out, melt them down, make sure it's all silver. Give me a few minutes, if everything checks out, I'll pay you. If it doesn't check out, I'll give you an address where you can send it. <laughs> OK? OK. Testing silver is a little work, but it's not rocket science. First off, you have to drill deep enough to make sure there's not a lead core or some other metal in the middle of the bar. Then you melt down all the filings until they liquefy and you create a small button. The last step is dropping some nitric acid on it and seeing what color it turns. When nitric acid reacts with pure silver, it turns a creamy white. If it's any other metal, it can turn green, blue to gray. OK, here's the deal. Yeah, it's all right. It's fine. <laughs> you got 46,000 for the coins, 33,390 for these bars right here. 32.39 times 942 equals. So we got a total of $110,901. Well, let's make a deal. That is the deal. You can't go, like, 115 No. I mean, there's not a lot of profit here. On $110,901, I'm probably going to make 1500 bucks off you. But can't you just hold all this for six months, a year, and sell it for 120 Or hold on to it for six months and sell it for 50 <laughs> I am not a speculator in the silver market. I'm a businessman. So what's your best price you can give me today? Um, I'll go 111000 even. I'll go up 99 bucks. How about 112 No, no, no. There's no money to be made for it. You know, you're welcome to check around, but most people go a dollar back on everything. Yeah, I mean, that's what I can do. I can do um, 111000 Or if you want to, you can tote the stuff around and check some more. Well, I bought it 12 years ago for way less than that. <laughs> 111 sounds good to me. All right, still 111. I'm really glad my dad taught me to invest because today I'm walking out with over a hundred thousand dollars. I'm gonna take one of these, Rick. Um, no, no, you're not. Come on. 
wow. This thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.